Hello! Well, Spring RTS and particularly Evolution RTS fans, this is Shadow Fury CC3 showcasing Evolution RTS because it's just gone on Steam Greenlight, and that's actually really cool. And I'm also with Foreboding Angel. Hello. <laughs> yeah, he's the he's the developer of Evolution <laughs> RTS. <laughs> yeah. And we're just gonna go over some stuff, play a few games, showcase the game a bit, and also start off by going over some of the issues that people have been experiencing. So, Forb, if you could carry on more detail. Um, okay, well, uh, actually, you know what, I don't have the stream playing. I should do that, but anyway. Basically, well, people well, lobby. have... Yes, people have had all kinds of issues with the lobby. Um, unfortunately, as you know, you know as well as I do, that the lobby system with Spring isn't perfect. Um, that It has said, advantages. Yeah, but yeah. It has. It's definitely a little bit lacking when it comes to the get into the game part <laughs> of the whole experience. Yeah, and there have been many efforts to, you know, try to make it a lot easier for people. Web lobby is actually one of the better efforts, believe it or not. Um, but at the same time, a lot of people have had trouble with it. I mean, even to the point of logging in. Now, granted, most of the reasons that people have had trouble logging in are because they're trying to use spaces in their username or use usernames over 20 characters. While that should kind of feel like a no-brainer to some extent, at the same time, it should tell you, and it doesn't. So you know, There is no such thing as a no-brainer. There is yeah. no such thing as a no-brainer <laughs> in UI design. Like rule number one, I never don't... underestimate the power of a fool. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, uh... Also, no, uh, I don't mean to. I sorry, I don't mean to disparage anyone who's using this and is having trouble. It's just, it's just sort of how it's phrased when it comes to UI design. But yeah, like never underestimate when it comes to foolproof things. That's that's the age. Nothing is foolproof to a sufficiently clever fool. <laughs> or in this case, someone who just figures it should just work because really it should just work. Yeah, it. I. So if it doesn't just work, there's something wrong with the UI designer and not with the person using it. The thing that kills me, as far as just working, like, I can take uh, Web Lobby or, you know, the Steam install, essentially, to a computer without it uh, and run it, and it'll work just fine. But, you know, everybody's got different setups, especially when we're talking Windows. Um, and so, you know, there's uh, an infinite number of possibilities <laughs> for where it can break down. And so, yeah... The thing I really kind of want to get across is the fact that, yeah, we we know we're we're trying. We're we hear it. Uh, icons and car re or yeah, icons and car repair are the web lobby developers. They have been on it, as far as I can tell, practically all day. Um, and really, this is something that is kind of forcing. Like, the Evolution RTS on Steam is really forcing the hand of a lot of people for usability because it's something that. I harped on when I first came into the game, but not a lot of people have really harped on, so it's something that we're now being forced to do because no one ever figured that hundreds of people would swarm into a spring game ever yeah, at once. Yeah, exactly. It's no, never happened. This isn't hundreds, though. This is thousands. This I mean, is this thousands? Okay, because yes. I checked the Steam stats, and there was simultaneously 250 people playing. Well, four hours ago. But yeah, there were 250 people playing okay, at once. Okay, in two days... Web Lobby has been visited by 23,237 unique IP addresses. Okay. So you can imagine that... a little bit how overwhelmed <laughs> everything is. <laughs> I certainly can. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, like I said, this is forcing a lot of people's hands, which really hadn't been forced sufficiently up to this point. I was thinking maybe like 20, 30, 100, maybe on a good day. No. It went live and everything went straight down the toilet. <laughs> I mean, to as the point, is, yesterday, as yesterday, it actually brought down the spring server for about five minutes. Uh, oh. Which, if you Jeez. know anything about the spring server, that thing is godly. Uh, and so bringing it down well, takes a lot actually, of doing. That thing has not been stress tested very well. I mean, I, all the credit to Lico, but that server has maybe had 100 people on it once. For, hmm, that's I, and I mean, I think it's, it's also not just people on; it's also all the balancing stuff, and then the fact that it's running all these games. Yeah. So yeah, that it's kind of not been pushed as much as it has been now. Some of the other issues that have arisen, some of the 
Should I Barely. just log in to demonstrate? Sorry, I just want to... Sure, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, some of the other very Actually. large issues that... Have... Oh, yeah, that's me. That's... <laughs> <laughs> that have happened is... Um... For example, people got in and immediately clicked the single player tab. Reasonable, uh, right. no big, uh, no big deal. However, the problem is, is that what? Is, yeah, this like balance annihilation comes up, and then evolution RTS test version, and then more choices, and then it's just a bunch of versions of Evo RTS because that's what actually, I have downloaded. Yeah. Now, imagine if you didn't have anything downloaded, including the engine. It's just blank. You can't do anything. Uh, yeah, which kind of sucks. And so, you know, people are like, why doesn't single player work? Now, I answered, I was answering stuff on the forums, like, as soon as, uh, as soon as the questions came up. So if people went right. to the forums, then they'd have a fairly decent idea of what was going on. It's like, look, you need to join a multiplayer game uh, before, uh, you know, so that you can get the engine, the map and the game. Wow, so, there's a lot of people in these servers right now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you look at the Spring Web Lobby tab there... Actually, this looks it, pretty small, honestly, because there's... Yeah. Evolution RTS Dedicated Host 1 has 19 players, which, coming from 0K, isn't saying much. Yeah. And... I don't see any others that are actually... Okay, other ones have, like, two or three people each, but it looks like... Let's check out number of servers. It's died down quite a bit, uh, mainly and because... Are you running SPADs or Springy? spads on the evolution rts or evo rts dedicated servers okay and there's because Iconium. okay just because i know that okay out of curiosity does the because i know the boxes were a problem for people i was hearing boxes were a problem for people and the thing is with zero k of course that has some default feature stuff for springy and i'm not sure if evo inherits that well basically what was happening with the boxes is ad box spam people would click on the mini map and the server well, would just say oh okay I, would you yeah, like to add a box ad box does do not exist in any other game in existence yeah. box start boxes like that the only other game that has that in any capacity is planetary annihilation and that's not even customizable and i think that might have been taking a page out of spring's book but i don't know for sure anyway the point is that's something that has never been in any other RTS game. Yeah, basically, you know, a which lot of is actually something which is for good reason too. Honestly. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, it has some, it has a benefit when it comes to teams because it allows for any number of players to play in a map. But other than that, I've always found the box system to be really weird to use. Yeah, you know, honestly, like for example, if I play StarCraft Two, I mean, I just start get locations. in, I I press a button and I get dumped in a game. I may get dumped with a bunch of noobs, but who cares? I'm in a game. Well, it's not just. <laughs> well, yeah, you, get, you go, but also in the game itself, there are specific start locations. And I pull up the map editor, but it would take too long to load. But anyway, there's there are specific start locations that you lay out. It's been that way in all the craft games. It's been that way in pretty much every RTS game. It's just you you pick start locations, and then that's where you have as your start to generate what you need. You know, the interesting thing I have noticed about it is that some of the newbie players have actually figured things out fairly quickly, and I do see them helping other people, which is kind of awesome. Another Good, because I was worried for I was worried about an eternal September. Yeah, another thing I've done is I've limited the maximum amount of spectators uh, to twelve. So essentially, the max number of people that you can have in a in a Room battle 20? lobby is twenty. Yeah, and it was... Yeah, Zero K would have benefited from that some time ago. Yeah, well, I had it set to 20... Or, I'm sorry, I had it that set to 32 originally. Then I was told by one of the BA server admins that I'd be more beneficial with 128 because people are getting kicked out because they can't, you know, spectate and stuff like that. And that turned into a giant rat race. Uh, plus, there was another thing with the multiplayer tab. People would click on the multiplayer tab and say, okay, create a multiplayer battle room. Which is all mm -hmm. should be all fine and good, but because of technical mumbo jumbo, um, it was spawning springy hosts using Spring ninety one, and I'll bet you know why that is. Uh, well, I hey, we've been trying. <laughs> we have been trying to actually. I think right now, zero K is pretty close to set up for ninety seven. Uh, it pretty much works. There's a bunch of testing going on to make sure that it do will in fact work for ninety seven when that hits. Mm -hmm. And 96, there were some issues. The biggest one seems to be desync right now, but other than that, although admittedly that's 
huge issue. But other than yeah. that, that's not the biggest thing. Although the fact that you can't choose an engine is a little bit annoying. But well, yeah, yeah that... basically the reason for the engine thing is the fact that uh, the spawner that spawns the the host, um, it actually doesn't accept an engine parameter. It's kind of oh. weird. Car repair patched it yesterday, but it hasn't started working yet. So, yeah, like I said, as I mentioned before, it's forcing our hand, which will ultimately have very good results. Hopefully, this doesn't. Hopefully, people will bear with us as we make the infrastructure actually competent. Because yeah. right now, it's been rather. My it's been rather rough. Honestly, the whole thing has been put together with spit and duct tape for so long that I think. No one really thought of it as designed. I guess maybe a little history lesson is in order in that the spring engine was originally a replay viewer for Total Annihilation and over time coalesced into a game engine which ended up getting originally mods for Total Annihilation as playable games and later on those became games in their own right. And as of Engine version 95, that's finally been the only way you can go. I think Engine version 88 made games of possible way of thinking about it and now mod the idea of games as mods is no longer yeah there but that's was... that is within the last half year so yeah this just bear is... that in mind from a history perspective i don't mean to excuse the issues but just it's worth noting historically speaking spring was not designed it merely coalesced out of necessity also, it's worth noting that the development teams for the engine in particular, I mean, I think the active developers are like three or four guys. Um, JK, I know, has been going all over the place. He's everywhere writing all kinds of new stuff. abma has been pretty much going wild all over the engine. Um, and Clute. Clute, yeah. Clute the does monkey. a ton of work. People don't understand. I think he's the optimization the, monkey. Yeah, you don't. Un people don't understand the amount of work that Clute does. He's he's actually pretty amazing. I think he's but, the, he's a low level guy when JK is the high level guy, right? Remember? Um, actually, or is he the way around? Clute's been or around longer. Uh, he, but he stays in the shadows. <laughs> no, I mean more like the low level optimization as opposed to high level feature ed additions. Oh yes, 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 very much so. Okay, uh, yeah. that was my understanding from before. Sorry, but anyway, yeah, basically, and so. Another thing that people uh, who are new from Steam wouldn't understand is the fact that Spring is several different groups. You have the engine developers, you have the game developers, which in that case, that's me, uh, and whoever else I can beg to help me, which is a lot of the time. Uh, <laughs> and then you have the lobby developers, and occasionally you have AI developers. Well, also, game develop there's a lot of cross-pollination game developers and That's stuff true. made for one game. Like, you pulled a lot of stuff from Zero K, and mm -hmm. Zero K has pulled a lot of stuff from you, and maps are shared between all games, which is a really weird thing to get used to. Yes. <laughs> but, yeah, yes. it's, just, it's re weird because the fact that maps are usually designed for one, maybe two games in mind, which may can make it a little bit awkward. It's something to bear in mind when it comes to maps, map choices, that some of the maps may feel really awkward in Evolution RTS because they're designed for... BA or Zero K or Nada or XDA. Like, they're designed for a bunch of games. They're... You have designed specifically Evo RTS maps, though, haven't you? Like, There's a lot of Evo RTS maps I've seen. Yeah, there are, and in fact, I myself, while we're tooting my own horn, um, <laughs> uh, I've actually <laughs> I've actually made a little over 200 maps for Spring. A lot of them... See, I started back in 2006 making maps. And so, uh, a lot of them got old because, uh, or a lot of them got lost because uh, we had the file upload uh, kicked us off because we were using too much bandwidth and there was unknown files and I had everything nicely sorted there and then that went belly up and now we have Spring Files, which Spring mm -hmm. Files is actually hosted on the Spring server so it's going nowhere. Uh, well, took uh, us unless twice of course to learn. the server <laughs> falls down again. Yeah. <laughs> Which is very rare nowadays, but um, yeah. So I'll I mean, to Lico, I guess there's there's a lot of a lot of history within you know open source, open source, good times. But this massive influx of players has just kind of had everybody working overtime, and I kind of feel bad about it because I don't. I well, I think it's about bloody time. I did. <laughs> I, I I'm fr I'm being frank here. I think that it's about time that. Especially UI design and the design of getting into the game and usability in general has been addressed. 
And it's, I've always felt like it's been an issue that needs to be addressed, and now it's being addressed. Admittedly, it's probably a bit more suddenly and in an urgent emergency state than it should have been, but... Yeah, it would have it would have helped if... See, oh, by the way, a uh, misconception that's going around is that it's Steam's fault for releasing the game too early. No, actually, it's my fault, because I meant to set the game to release for this coming Friday, and accidentally set it for last Friday. As a result, come Monday morning, the Steam people being the good people that they are said, Hey, we're releasing your game. And I said, What? <laughs> and so, yeah. Chaos they did ensued. what you said and not what you wanted. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, that was that was very much my fault. Don't blame the Steam people for that. I, I, I screwed up. I was in a huge hurry. I was trying to get everything ready and just... Apparently, choosing dates from a date picker is more difficult than I would have thought. <laughs> but anyway. Also, oh, what about settings? Have people had problems with those? Because I've, I've always personally found that the way settings work with Spring is absolutely maddening. Well, <laughs> believe it or not, the, that's Especially actually all this, been the, the engine settings. The engine settings are just... Because you don't even have presets. It's just engine settings, hope for the best. Maybe your water will look good. Actually, uh, in Evo, there are uh, widgets, which that's another thing, F11. You know, not everyone's going to know about that. But if you hit F11, there are graphic settings widgets, and if you oh. just click one, it's if got ultra it. low, low, uh, medium, high, ultra high. I would have waited, liked to wait until I actually got in show it a game. Oh, Sorry, yeah. I'd... Sorry. We should probably actually show off the game then, if we're going to do that. First stuff. <laughs> sure. Uh, let okay, me... so I'll just make a battle room for the purposes of... Actually, Evo RTS this. Dedicated 3 is open right now. <laughs> go there, In go there! In manner of speaking, you know, except for all the specs, but okay. It was. Uh, okay, so yeah. You can see you just join the game, get in, hear the little ding. Yeah, actually, let me go ahead and... Um, let me go ahead and walk this. Uh... <laughs> you can't lock it. <laughs> you oh. own the whole, you own the world. You cannot lock it. Wow, that's that is kind of funny, actually. All things considered. Oh, by the way, since people might be confused, is that faction thing a web lobby thing, or is that something you've ever meant to actually deal with? The uh, the faction icon. Yeah, that's actually Not a faction icon. The faction mechanic. Um, I don't understand what you. Mean. Oh, you mean like having multiple factions? Yeah, the fact okay. that factions exist at all. Basically, um, I, well, okay, originally there were two factions. I modeled all the units, they looked terrible. Uh, Kaiser came along, remodeled all of them, and they looked great, but we only had one side. Uh, then Kaiser decided it wasn't good enough, so we remodeled them all again. And, and I started modeling the second or? side, and then we coalesced into a single side with lots of different techs to go. Mm. And there's still more text planned like for example uh bipeds with uh jump jets that should be fun um has this game started sorry i was not sure has the game we're in right now started nope nope uh oh, okay let me tell rar to start this it's nice that an experienced springer is uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> is that something that gode would actually be in the game though he's obsing but he's not in the game or speaking yeah. rather actually i uh yeah. So, so ask Jackie if you happen to be watching this right now. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> Do your best. We believe in you because we have no other choice. Man, I am sorry oh, today. Oops. <laughs> Man. Um split H twenty. Oh. So yeah, like I said, that one thing with the start boxes, that should probably be dealt with. Right. Where they're actually default start boxes. God, go. go. Oh, Gode is playing! Gode is playing! Awesome! Oh, and God's already in game. Well, that's uh, nice. No, he's out. He's out. We're good. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's just wait until the game starts, and then once that happens, we'll have an actual game to cast. Gode and Rar.